Hi guys, welcome to The Six Elements, amazing stories about PGMs, the channel where we tell you things that you will not find on Wikipedia. I'm Prudence and I'm going to continue to tell you how we obtain pure palladium from ore. In the first video, we discussed what happens at the concentrator. On this video, I'm going to tell you what happens at the smelter, the base metals refinery, and finally, the precious metals refinery. So a smelter is a factory where metal is extracted using a process um, involving heat and melting. So it's heating and melting, right? So we obtain wet concentrates from the concentrator plant. And then this wet concentrate um, undergoes a series of heat treatment steps to take away moisture from it as much as possible. So we want to decrease the moisture as much as possible because we want to introduce um, dry feed into the furnace because if we introduce it wet it might cause blowbacks or even explosions in the furnace and then a furnace is an oven that is operated at very high temperatures usually above a thousand degrees celsius so what happens is this after this ore is um, received from the concentrator as wet concentrate and after it has been dried it is then introduced into a furnace and it is mixed with lime which acts as a flux which will help melt away our gang or, or our silicates, right? And then after smelting, we get two products. Actually, the purpose of smelting is for separating gang from met. The gang in our furnace is called slag and our valuable mineral is called met, right? So we're going to separate uh, met from gang and then our slag contains oxides and silicates, which is a light material. And then our mat contains our sulfide mineral, which is our copper nickel sulfide with uh, a bit of PGMs, right? So after heating and melting in the furnace, we get two layers. We get the lighter layer at the top, which is our slag. And then we get the heavier and denser material at the bottom as mat. The mat is tapped at the bottom of the furnace and then the slag removed later after we've had, we have tapped um, off the mat the mat or molten mat is transferred into a ladle which is a huge pot and then this is then transferred into a converter a converter is another type of smelting process whereby we remove impurities we remove our sulfur and our iron by a method of oxidation so sulfur is removed as a sulfur dioxide and then it is taken to an to the acid plant to produce sulfuric acid and then this sulfuric acid is used at refineries and the rest of it is commercialized. And then the iron is removed as slag and then, well, it is thrown away. And then that mat that we get from the converter is then granulated and it is taken to the base metals refinery. At the base metals refinery, we mill this um, granulated uh, mat and then we, and we, we, it undergoes what a series of what magnetic separation steps so we have mag magnetic graphers that trap our magnetic um, metals which is our base metals because our precious metals are not magnetic they are non-magnetic so we trap all the magnetic material and then we are left with pgms that are not magnetic but this process is not very efficient so we need to separate um, this further by using other methods which is um, leaching so we introduce our PGM concentrate to a leaching process to dissolve away the base metals. So it gets dissolved in sulfuric acid to melt away the base metals. And then the PGMs are left in solid form. And um, these base metals that were melted away from the PGM concentrate are combined with um, the ones that were trapped by the magnet and they are sent to the base metals refinery so that the individual metals can be separated. And then at the precious metals refinery, we receive concentrate um, that is rich in PGMs. And then this is uh, milled if necessary to equilibrate or to, to equilibrate the particles and, and blend the material. And then after this is blended, it is introduced into a reverberatory furnace. In this furnace, we are trying to separate our metallic uh, material from non-metallic material. Our metallic material is our base metals and our non-metallics are our um, PGMs. So after the melting process in the reverberatory furnace, 
we take out the slag first and then we remove the PGM um, content later. And then this PGM uh, content that is removed or the mat that is removed from the reversary furnace is then cooled and then after cooling it is suspended in acid, in a very strong acid, a concentrated acid to dissolve away our palladium, platinum, gold and silver and other trace um, PGMs. And then after this, uh, we get all of these metals in a solution, right? And then now our next step would be to separate these individual metals. And then uh, we would remove the gold first using a method called um, solvent extraction and then remove the silver using precipitation. I'll explain, I will explain what solvent extraction is later. So now we have already removed the gold, we have removed the silver. Now we're going to try and separate the PGMs from one another. So we use different processes to separate these PGMs. They are all chemical processes, but they depend on the properties of each metal. So the first ones to be removed will be palladium and platinum. And both of these are removed by a, metro, a method called um, solvent extraction. Solvent extraction is basically a liquid-liquid separation. It's basically um, dissolving a liquid in a, in a liquid. So you have this liquid with um, different metals, right, of different solubilities. So you want to dissolve this liquid in a liquid that will melt one of the metals while not affecting or not disturbing the other metals in the solution. So we dissolve this into a solvent that will dissolve the palladium first. So palladium is removed and then the other metals are left behind in the original solution. After removing palladium, we introduce the solution into another solution that will melt away the platinum now, depending on the, so, so it is very specific to the solubility of the platinum. It will take away the platinum while um, the other metals remain behind. I'm only going to discuss the refining processes of palladium and platinum because they are the two most prevalent ones and um, the other trace minerals I'm not going to um, dwell on them. So now, since we have separated the, the, the two, they are impure and they are in solution form, so we are going to refine them individually. We're going to refine platinum individually and our palladium individually. They both undergo a series of chemical separation steps, which include evaporation, dissolution, precipitation and filtration. And um, at the end, they yield very pure or highly concentrated organometallic salts. And then these salts then undergo a series of heat treatment steps that will yield pure metal. So that is how we get pure metal from ore. That is how we get pure palladium from ore. Thank you for watching, guys. Did you know that we can get one gram of palladium from 66 iPhones? Well, to learn this and other interesting facts, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and be the first one to see our next video on the Six Elements channel, Amazing Stories About PGM.